Three days after one of the most powerful typhoons ever recorded devastated island provinces in the central Philippines and killed thousands of people, the weather is calm. But even here, in the capital city of Manila, more than 800 kilometers away from the areas worst hit by Typhoon Haiyan, there are plenty of clues why typhoons wreak such havoc and cause so many deaths in this developing Southeast Asian country. One can be seen right under this bridge. A community of families live right on the edge of this waterway that empties into Manila Bay. The houses are small and made from temporary materials that offer absolutely no protection against strong winds or a storm surge similar to what struck the central Philippine city of Tacloban. These are some of the poorest families in Metro Manila. Their homes have been destroyed by typhoons and flooding, not to mention fires, many times. But they continue to stay here for lack of affordable alternatives. This village and others like it are also on the edge of Manila port, where many of them find a living as stevedores or porters for the shipping vessels docking at the port. Twenty-seven percent of the Philippine population of about 95 million live in ramshackle houses near coasts and riverbanks at risk from tsunami, storm surges and flooding as well as in hilly or mountainous areas, vulnerable to landslides, earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. Many live a hand-to-mouth existence and don't have time to evacuate their families to safety even when warned of an impending disaster. Poverty in the Philippines is persistent. Despite faster growth since 2010, the poverty rate hardly changed between 2009 and the first half of 2012. Government economic planners fear that the recent typhoon will worsen poverty even though GDP is seen to expand by 7% this year. <coughs> The growth targets uh, may not be that adversely affected. Uh, the growth target of between 6 to 7 percent for uh, this year, as we know, has already been uh, exceeded as far as the first semester is concerned. And uh, we're already on the last quarter. And so, uh, we don't think that that will be uh, that that will be too adversely affected. Typhoon Haiyan has affected 9.5 million people, or about a tenth of the population, and displaced more than 630,000 people. It has destroyed thousands of hectares of farmland and hundreds of fishing boats, resulting in loss of income for weeks, if not months, for small farmers and fishermen who account for the majority of the poor. Economic planners believe the economy will remain strong despite the string of disasters this year. But they're afraid that the number of poor people could rise sharply as the catastrophic damage from the typhoon drags down many households who had risen above the poverty line back into the miserable pit. Tom Griggs, Financial Times.